Good. Okay. All righty. Okay, I think I got it. We're going to find out, guys. We're going to find out about everything. GE, thank you. With that. We got this. It's the OTC markets, they call it. Good. I think we got it all. Let's just double check. Yes. Good. Yes, G G E. Thank you. G E. All right. Good. We'll give it a second and then we'll jump right in. Uh, let me know if you can hear me okay. Everything like that. G -E. uh, oh gosh. That's too loud. G -E. How about that? G M. There it is. Um, it's fine. Thank you for asking. Thank you for asking. <clears throat> can't type, can't, I can't do anything anymore. Hopefully my, uh, sounds okay. I was working on getting it a little, little tighter. It kind of got, it gets wacky sometimes. Um, lots of exciting things zero happening in the OTC. Point um, zero. <laughs> what was that? Sorry. No questions. Thank you. Good. So if you're just jumping in right now, I'm just going to dive in with it to begin with. I own a GA. Good. I own a website. It's called otcmethod.com. I don't know if you've ever heard about it, but here's the deal with it. It's really good. It's a site where if you are new to the OT OTC, or even if you're old to the OTC, I bet I got a lot that's of interest to you. I make videos every single weeknight, except for this one. I have a live Discord where I'm working all the time with the help of the brilliant Jen, breaking down filings. But here's the best part. The chat, it isn't like a meat market where just people are just coming and just being like, this is good. They don't just go, you know what I mean? It's just me working on what I'm working on and every piece of news and every filing comes out, a live reaction with, with, uh, in, in one chronology. So you can go through it. There's a place to chat about other things if you like, but the, the main chat is locked. So you can actually get the content you're looking for. What about, how about that? I'm tossing you a little something, something here. I'm saying to you, it's an opportunity for thousands of hours of content searchable by text. But let's talk about the OTC for now. Um, but I know that a lot of people have, have, have found a lot to like about OTC method, including me, because I made it. So I really like it. Well, tell me about it and I'll tell you how it's a bag. How about that? bag you know on to that topic um there is a real nice there is something to be said for like there's a there's a there's two schools of thought in otc trading that be like pretty good huh there's two schools of thought my school of thought is that ga <laughs> wow G -E. my school of thought is that I believe that you need to go to where the catalysts are. Sometimes they don't always react to the catalyst. I understand that. But you go to where the catalysts are if you've got a fair entry and see how far you can, you can do with it and see how far the market wants to take it. The other side of the coin is, is loading things that have no volume and then hoping they turn out to be good. 
for the most part, I find that to be a, a failure in terms of opportunity cost, but only the latter, the, the thing where people just, just buy things that have already been like cooked a while back. That's the only thing that is seen as like virtuous on, on social media. You know what I mean? And, um, beg to your question on BOTY, I'm going to give you an beg. answer. Thank you. So, uh, you know, I think, uh, sometimes it works out for sure, but I, but I find, um, I find it cat X situations to be situations that really damage people in a big way. Um, but I mean, it all damages. I mean, like, I can't be like, well, what I do is, is completely right. And what you do is complete, you know what I mean? Like if something has a reverse merger, there's a, there's a good chance that it's going to have a reverse split. That's the facts of the matter. And ideally it would be nice if they'd announce it right off the hopper, but they didn't. And so, so it is what it is. It is what it is. But that BOTY is surely a bag, sir. Thank you for asking. Uh, so we'll get into, to what I'm working on today, obviously, and, uh, what, it, what I've been going through and, um, going to, I'm doing the low carb, you know, doing this low carb diet and I'd been successful with it in the past, but then I was unsuccessful with it because of the fact that I was drinking, you know, a light just fell on my face. Let's see how it looks now. Right. Why, why would a light fall on my face? I do this every day. Do you know, I do this every day. Well, I like them a little too much. <laughs> I like those carbs a little too much. You know what I mean? Um, and so I go to, uh, Walmart cause you got to get your groceries at Walmart. It's a good price or Costco. And I go to Walmart and the guy, and, and I, I never bring a coin for the, the cart. We call them loonies up here. I said to the cart guy who, who was, I think, new to Canada. And I said, to, could you help me get a cart? And uh, he goes, uh, one or two. And, and I'm, I'm, I was like, and I'm, I'm just alone. Right. And then, so I, I just go, Oh, one. And then I see him laughing out, like <laughs> laughing like that. And I realized he, he'd, uh, he roasted me, you know, and, and he, he got me with a joke. It was a funny joke. And, and so I was like, actually, that's really funny. You know, uh, um, I can't believe I, I answered it. And, and then he goes, yes, very surprising. <laughs> like, what was that part of it? Is what I <laughs> like, and he, that was deadpan. Like, so I don't know what it, what he was trying to say, like, was it surprising or was it not surprising that I would, that would, I, I would have said just one to his joke, but I mean, this guy was an absolute killer. I mean, he got me. Okay. Why is it a short squeeze? So this guy lit me up while I'm going to buy food for my diet. It was really funny. And then, and then I just was like, this guy got me really good. You know, I liked it. I liked it a lot. He still had the, the time and it was like minus 40 out. So let's get into what I'm working at Comcast. Eh? How's this business going? Well, What's the, what's the, uh, share structure on that Comcast? Four billion. And what is, what about the short, short interest on that? 1% short float. So one, <laughs> 
one percent of the shares are flow are are oh they wrote one percent right there one percent of this big monster fat ass at five billion floating is short what is the volume like on comcast per day i wonder so you're squeezing like two guys and the volume's 20 million on 4 billion i got to be honest with you gabe uh like i'm not a math guy unless it's uh on the scale but um i got to i'm not that excited about that i'm going to be real with you gabe All right. I don't know. I don't know about naked. I, I don't know about naked shorting. I'm just all. I'm about close shorting. I have. I have kids already. I don't need any of this. 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 This grossness. Okay. I don't have those thoughts anymore. We have children. What's What's left to do? What's left to do? Hey, caramba. Let's get into some stocks on the OTC. Branded Legacy, uh, really a good effort over the last couple of days. And what I liked about it is that this guy, he is uh, making changes to improve outcomes for retail. Okay. And you can never guarantee that anything's going to be perfect, but like this share strike, like consider this. Okay. Versus, versus the old Spoozerini, which by the way, is still gross. We got to get that changed. Is the ticker symbol pause available? Like, so you look at the, the entire authorized now that he's lowered it on this branded legacy is 900 million. Which is, which is, you know, one, I don't know what it is, one sixth of the, the, the floating shares on Spoozy. Not that Spoozy is bad. It's been great. But I'm just saying for the examples of branded legacy, like in terms of, you know, if, if the volume keeps up and reaching a, like a, a some type of a finish line, um, you know, a, and if he's moderate about the, the speed at which shares get trickled in and, and the speed at which he raises capital, well, you know, that's um, something that's very interesting where people can still get size because they don't like him too thin. I understand that. And then people can also see pri meaningful price action without having to wait months and months and months, which I also appreciate. So uh, I love the moves he's making. I, I appreciate the, the effort and uh, the, the removal of debt from balance sheet. Um, ensuring conversions can happen. Conversions will happen, like, but not as many. You know what I mean? And, and I couldn't bear to, 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 even though it got a bit slow um, at one point, I, I couldn't bear to walk away. You know what I mean? And, and I was in it before and it fell apart. Um, uh, because of, because of what I felt to be, uh, look like some conversions. Um, but this time around it, it's looking kind of different. And when you look at the, the volume bars on it, like that, that brought it down, they were pretty aggressive. And, and this time, and you can see all the way through here, through, through December, it was, it was just a lot of selling it. That was uh, highly doubtful. That was retail. Um, but since the reduction of the debt and the AS reduction, the selling has become uh, much less aggressive, and uh, for the life of me, I c I could not bear to to walk away, and I'm glad I didn't um, after picking it up again. And I picked it up again yesterday on the on that news. I thought, okay, maybe this guy's not done, and uh, so far so good. So, you know, obviously with with what we're doing in the OTC, it's it's really easy to get ghosted right now on stuff. Like you can have GE. Wow. GE. It's very easy to get ghosted on stuff. Um, 
but uh, because because there 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 is limited liquidity, and and I understand that you know dollar volume in the OTC is is high, but but the reason I bring this up is not to bash the OTC because if anyone wants the OTC to make it, it's this guy. <laughs> I mean, my the career and everything, like I, I threw it all away for this. Okay. So don't take it as a bash. Who would hire me now? I wonder. Oh, we need a guy who's really good at uh, uh, recording weird sounds and also busting Heat balls. zone. But when you look at where the bulk of the dollar volume is, you know, you, you, you need to go quite a way. Here's the list of dollar volume right here. You need to really go quite down the list um, in order to identify a ticker symbol that you even recognize. And so when you when you realistically think about the 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 playground we're in, it's it's a very limited volume, um, which isn't bad because uh, these these things are thinly traded. But have you seen one yet? Just zoomed. Yeah, it is. Right. You know what I'm saying? So the point I'm trying to illustrate is that, oh boy, is that, you know, the, 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 there you go. The first one he sees half a million, um, which by the way, um, and so, uh, it, 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 you need to be very precise and you also need to understand that, you know, even if something is really good, there's, there's a, there's a chance that they're, they're not coming back for it because there's not that much money floating around right now. And I mean, we could talk about why that is like, I, I know why I think I know why the rule changes certainly have been a problem, but that was like a long time ago. Now, you know, for me, I feel like, um, People uh, are are not doing as well as they they'd like to say that that they're doing in the media. You know, um, if if you're talking about uh, the way households have had to handle inflation, and this is the interesting part. When you look at this figure. And the leaps and bounds at which uh, uh, Americans and, and most certainly Canadians have had to take on debt. Like you're looking at what a, a, a three years, a 40% increase on average uh, in three years is it, Yeah. Three years on average in three years, they were doing a lot less than that. I mean, people, who trade these securities are finding it tougher to get by. And, and because of that, um, the, the retail game is a slower game. And, uh, and there's a lot of malaise out there too. I, I don't know if you feel this way, but like, I, like I was trying to, I was trying to say to my wife the other day, like, what is, what do people even like anymore? Like actual real people. Because when I go on like social media and stuff like that, I don't even see real people, not just Twitter either. I just see ads and influencer posts and, and just like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? And then when I read the news, I'm like, well, that's bullshit. So I don't actually know what's happening. And I, and I feel like a lot of people are in this malaise. And so for me, like, the, you know, the, the, the realest thing is trading this OTC and making these videos and, and, and doing this because, because I don't really know where we're at anymore. As strange as that sounds, I don't know if you feel that way, but, but I, I don't, it's, it's a very strange time. It's a very strange time. And to think that, and to say that people are doing well, I think is dishonest, you know? So anyways, 
Branded Legacy, I'd love to I'd love to see this guy. Uh you're doing great. You're typing great. Thank you so much for that. Well, I do too. Let's jump into uh, IGPK, which is doing very well. Um, I'll leave it to the the tweets and all that to to talk about the DD and whatnot. Uh, it's it's doing very well. Well, no, I understand what you're saying, Gabe, but and it's not like I got all my reality from social media, but I I feel. Yeah, no, I hear you, OTC King. But I, I feel like there, there's just there's just like a. I don't know why I, I I feel like people aren't. It's like they're waiting for a shoe to drop or something. I don't know how I, I don't know. Do you know what I'm saying? No, this is very interesting, OTC King, and and there's a lot of reasons for it. I have a few thoughts. One is the money printing in Japan and more. It is a weird feeling. And, you know, uh, but, you know, I, I still. Yeah, it's it's weird. It's like it's it's become very watered down. IGPK doing well, obviously, they've got the DD pointing to the to the Jun Jun Fung Jun Fahang. And you can check that out on Twitter. For me, it's all about lines and levels. So far, doing really well. 54 is the next level it needs to maintain. It's uh, reset the oscillator above it. And that's all that matters. Um, those are also bags, I'm afraid. But I'll take a look at PVSP had some news today, so I'll take a look at that. IMTL, I'm, I, I don't feel I'm a fan of at all. So is maintaining that uh, that that level, and uh, I think uh, it's doing very well. The great part about it is that you know from the last move, uh, what a, a ten days ago, it's cleared it off, and and you're looking at a situation where resistance is is extremely limited um, outside of where you're going to be running into some COVID bag holders at some point. So you can see here that this six is tough. That's a tough zone for sure. You see it right there. That's 76, but let me say what the zones are for now. Okay. I'll decide the zones. Thank you. And, uh, and so we're breaking that, uh, resistance and then, and then you are going to run into a fair amount because of, because of COVID holders. Um, but hopefully a lot of them are out and it is moving for a different reason. Um, it's not really a rush to hear from the company because, you know, sometimes companies start speaking and you're like, uh, you know, it's like a really pretty picture, you know, and then, and then you, 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 you meet your hero and, uh, but are they connected? And that's, that's what I want to get to Gabe. That's what I'm trying to talk about is like, is like we're connected, but also like algorithms at this point are, are completely washing away the human from all these, from all these connected experiences. You know what I mean? They don't actually want, it seems they don't actually want people to say anything. You know what I mean? It's very weird. It's just a weird time. So you got your, your support there. I think for me, I don't want to get too big picture with it. Cause that was three years ago. So I, you know, but those are just interesting levels. Uh, but for me, the, the, the challenge at this point, is stay above 53. And does that mean you just unload it if it goes before 53? Yeah, it is. That's exactly what it's like, diminishing cultures. Um, no, but, you know, certainly when it comes to this original move, you see I've set this anchored volume weighted average price here. Um, you know, you've got to be paying a, a lot of attention to that. Because if on heavy volume it tanked that, well, by golly, um, wouldn't be the best. Wouldn't be the best uh, thing. So... Let's just keep it going. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Um, outside of that, I'm going to, I'm going to just start going through tickers and I'd love to answer some questions. I'll look at that PVSP, but I'm going to start going through tickers because I don't find a lot, you know, outside of kind of the main, the main, uh, flavors of the day, 
you know, I'm not necessarily seeing a lot of things. Like, I'd like to show you a bunch of good setups for sure, but I'm not necessarily seeing a lot of things that, uh, yeah, I will. Um, that would uh, have me be like, oh, God, please take my money. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not feeling that way right now. HLLK, though, I am, I did feel that way. And, um, this had the change of control happen, uh, on the, uh, last Friday, uh, dipped pretty decently over the course of the last week. Um, there was a, a, a spot, maybe 10 million shares worth of dilution, which isn't a lot on a setup like this at all. Um, but there was, and then, uh, people came back for it. And, and what I like about it is that it's forward looking setup wise phenomenal but it's forward looking in terms of what, what is the company they're going to roll in here? And that, you know, a little bit of communication along the way to, to finding that announcement out would go a long way. Um, and, and for me, you know, the reason I use this oscillator, this price action oscillator is because it, it's it's telling me that you know people worry so much about insider trading and such, which which is certainly uh, a part of the OTC, no question about it. But if if people after after it looking like it was a cooked goose come rushing back all of a sudden with with no additional announcements or any no additional information, you gotta wonder if someone's got the high sign. You know, and that's what the price os os uh, action oscillator is for. Now, if you're watching this and you're from a regulatory body, I would encourage you to. Um, yes, I will tell you that because I think it's a very interesting question. Um, if you're interested in, in whether or not I uh, have the inside information, you're welcome to look because I don't. Um, and largely, I think it's just because I'm too busy to hear it. I think, you know what I mean? Uh, but I used to know guys that would be like news coming any day now. And I'd be like, this guy is in touch. This guy right here. And I would just get banged. And then the news would come and I'd be completely destroyed. And the reason I was is because if everyone knows the news is coming, then when the news is, comes, there's no one left to buy it. And I had this old joke, but I, I would ask the question, who's left to buy it? Mole people? Hmm. And then later, because that's always the thing. It's like, it's like everyone's the news is coming. Wait till they see it. Who? If your ass saw it. No, I don't know what that is. Endeavor. Is that? If your ass saw it, then everyone saw it. Are you Canadian? I am. What is this? British. Oh, so you're you're British? What are you? <laughs> I have not been watching that. So that's, that's that about mole people. And then later I, I change it to mud people. Sure. And, uh, well, that's that. So no one knows what's really coming here, but maybe someone does. And that's what the price action oscillator is for, to allow me to get ahead of it. And, uh, it's moving great. And, uh, would be really nice to hear, uh, what the plans are for a merger. Um, you are American. Well, congratulations. I don't know if you've been up here lately, but, uh, we good time. We're having fun up here. Tell you that. Yeah. I think I would, I think I'm thinking about it. Like I've been very proud to be a Canadian for a long time. And I don't know what we're doing right now. You know, I really don't. Like I, 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 I'm not sure. Um, 
acquisitions versus mergers. So here's, here's the way to think about it. Because people were always, especially during, during COVID, wait for the, the next acquisition is coming. But if you're, for the most part, when a company acquires another company, they acquire it with shares. And for that acquired company to get paid, they're, they're going to dump those shares. So when they absorb a company, it's very rare that unless it's, you know, like a merger of equals where it becomes double the size of the company and the stock shoots up, it's very rare that shareholders are excited about the fact that they just printed a huge roll of shares for an incoming acquisition company um, that will then in turn be dumped on them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and so uh, unless the acquisition says it's done in all cash, then you could say, okay, well, they did it in all cash and now they're adding this to their balance sheet. That's certainly bullish. But if they're doing it in all shares, then, then really it's not. It, it's, just, it's just, you know, the balance sheet is slightly better and you get to uh, pay for, the, for that incoming management team with, with dilution. So it's not really that, that exciting. Um, and, and I was always baffled as to why people were so excited about it whenever they were tweeting it. Cause I was like, what? Like, so, so you, and, and some of it was like toilet scrubbers and shit. Um, <clears throat> but with mergers, um, if it's a merger of equals two companies coming together, well, I mean that, that the shareholders of both, you know, could see a big rise. But the number one thing, obviously, is in the OTC especially, is reverse merger. That's numero uno. And the reason it's numero uno is because it's an opportunity to wipe the slate clean. It's usually something that's right on the floor and uh, is an opportunity to invest in what could be the next big thing. And, and that's full of hope and excitement. And that's, and that's really what, why reverse merger is the number one catalyst. And, and OTC has been the place for reverse merger traits for a long time. And th there's, there's, there's a bunch of them happening right now, a bunch of changes of control, and it starts with a change of control. And that's, and that's what, th that's what this is about this HLLK. Cause people are saying, well, what's the merger? Well, when you find out maybe a bunch of people have already, you know, uh, what is that word? I don't know it. It's such as I say it all the time. Doctor. They, they've all gotten themselves excited about whatever mergers to come. And so that's the run. And then when the merger comes, it's like, oh, okay, pretty good. But, but, but this, part where that where it changes hands who you know whoever was running the company clearly can't do it and so now you have a new owner that would hopefully bring in a new company and execute a reverse merger uh, unless they're willing to just sit on this ticker and do nothing which which i i didn't feel to be the case so hopefully that answers your question but that's why um acquisitions really are not that exciting because they're largely paid for in shares i don't want I don't want to drink this too hard or else I'll be going pee pee. So that's that. Um, please get me some questions. Cause I'm going to start shooting through some advancers and decliners and, and everything like that. Now, where did we end up last time on the screener? Maybe we'll leave the screener to the end, but. Uh, look through what's moving now. I think dub three was where we ended up last time. So we'll go dub three to dub six. See what's what's good. What it do. My note. I got this this nose thing. I don't know. I, I don't use. Uh, I, who cares? <laughs> yeah, dub three. If you get a chance to subscribe to this channel, that might encourage me to continue doing it because I don't do this often enough to be an affiliate and, and uh, get paid for it. 
I do it for the love of the game and in the hopes that people will see some great setups, see a great website called otcmethod.com that will change the OTC for them. I believe, I, I truly believe it. I can't promise you that you'll be profitable because that's a, that's a internal battle. But I promise you that you will never look at the OTC the same again and that you will find strategies to help your trading no matter what you trade. I guarantee that. As far as guaranteeing you become profitable, I mean, I, I knew guys during COVID that couldn't turn a profit. You know what I mean? So that's that's a bit of a personal thing. But... <laughs> Ninety two G's today, huh? Sure don't like that setup, PVSP. Jay, man, this guy. News I'm gonna do news soon. We'll vouch for it. He's vouching. He's vouching. <laughs> I haven't seen that for a while. Fifteen dollars into it. Oh, I can't. Watch people like time to load. I can't. I'm sorry with that setup. Where are my Canadians at? You want to get freaky deaky? Because I've been I've made a few freaky deaky trades on these uh, dead banks over the last little while. Beggy, uh, HLK, we talked about it for sure. Canagro, this is so weird. I'll tell you about it. Remember the guy? <laughs> he just did business on his resume, if you recall. That was his thing. It was just like he does a lot of business. He stands on business, I suppose one could say. This really sucked for me. You know, everyone was like, oh, the, the Houthis, the Houthis, the Red Sea, the Red Sea. I think I got five minutes of volume. Yes, the signs that an OTC CEO are lying are exactly on the ledger. Where is the ledger? Right here. Because one of the questions you have to ask in trading is, um... What is the truth? And does the truth help you become profitable? And I know it's an awful question, but it's, it's, it's the market determines their truth. And they, they say what they believe to be true through price action. So, you know, and sometimes I, I would get stuck in the mud. Like, can these, can you believe they believe this? Look at me on Spoozy. And they didn't care. You know, and, and so your question is not one that, that will help you become a profitable trader. Um, because in the end it's, it's all about risk management and, and appreciating what price action is telling you. And I'll tell you truthfully, I assume that they're all lying all the time. That's how I've been around this long. So there's really no sign that could tell me anything different. And when I go at it from that angle, I'm always protected. Ugh, this spire is tough. Really tough. Yeah, I just, I don't believe shit. 
If they like it, well, there's the line. Stay above it. You like it more, there's a new line. Stay above it. You don't like it anymore, there's a line you fell through. I'm out of here. Get out of here. You bashed it. I didn't bash it. I, I'm not even talking about anything. You could say I bashed it. Are they going to bounce this? But yeah, that LG was a real d disaster for me because I thought like they were mooning all these shipping stocks and then, and then it got five minutes of volume being a shipping play, but whatever, man. New regen. This is what happens when you break the trust. You get nine grand. Oh, God. Well, Gabe, you had to read something. What were you going to read? See, silver linings. You wouldn't have had anything to read then. That Tesla's looking like a bag anyways. My God. And he, he just started like pre-digging the grave too. He was like, when these Chinese ones, blah, 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 when the Chinese ones, like that's what he talks like. He's like uh, 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 Chinese ones come in and uh, Tesla's won't be very good. You know, like, bro. Also, people are buying um, less uh, less uh, EVs. Uh, it was. Yeah, it was tough. And maybe headed back. <laughs> Heat zone. I don't like that Evo Femme very much. It, is that the one that got wiped off today? No, they didn't. But you know, you know me. I really appreciate their transparency. I appreciate their transparency, and thank you for saying that. That's always my favorite. Uh, when when a company like bags everyone and admits that they haven't done anything that they said they were going to do, and then like everyone dumps it, and then one bag holder who didn't dump it is like, uh, I really appreciate their transparency in a tweet. I don't know. I don't know anything about it. I live in a place that is so cold that these batteries are garbage. So they can let me know about these batteries. That would be fine. But until I can, uh, charge a battery quickly while freezing my balls off in rural Saskatchewan, I'm not, I, I can't. Can't do it. Can't do it. They call it Saskatchewan. Cause I, when I lived in the U S I heard some wild pronunciations, some different shit. But I'm not from there, but I'm just saying that the pronunciations I heard were unbelievable. Say a place where you live, Milwaukee, I can say it. Saskatchewan, that's right, Saskatchewan, Canuck. And then I, but after I lived there for a while and, and like seeing how, like how everything happens there and you know what I mean? Then I was like, why would they give a shit about Canada? Because when I lived up here, I was like, can you believe they don't know about us? And then when I finally lived down there for a while, I was like, I see why they don't know. Okay. I'm, I'm, listen, I'm sorry. Okay? Bag. Bro, <laughs> they need to file, man. 
Like, when's this going to go great? That's a great setup. But I mean, if they hit this with a quarterly report, Oh, <laughs> that was funny. That artwork though. Let's get through some GTII, also known as Kramer. The Kramers are coming. Cosmo Kramer sharding. What about Newman? Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing to, to hang out with, uh, what's his name? King, King Cole. Cole. That's what they call me. It's a very funny story. It's not a serious name. I don't know if in seeing me in action, you probably know that I'm not that type of a person. Maybe I'll tell you about it one day. Norman. Oh, God. this looks like shit to me. So, you know what? Good luck trying to bounce it if you want. I don't know. Good luck. I am a very humble person for sure. Yeah, that's, that's true. And a lot of people are actually saying it. So that's, uh, he that's is right. very humble. this woman who sounds to be like from Hungary or something, Hungary, Hungary. This, this woman, um, this British very person, down to earth. no, that's also an Eastern European, just a regular this guy. British person is saying that I'm humble. Many people. PAOG, I guess they got some, uh, in June, uh, put out a uh, filing saying that they are looking to, uh, sign a sheet to merge with some kind of, a uh, Mexican healthcare worker company or something. Um, which is fine. I got two messages. That's the first two I've had all year. Um, they've got some, something about the, uh, salute Esmeralda. And they had put out a uh, LOI with regard to it. And it seems like they have a decent sized revenues, um, which is pretty cool. Have there been any like changes recently though? Um, Cause it, it's, it's not, uh, uh, let's take a look at this filing and we'll go from there. Okay. Entered into a letter of a quent and letter of a quent. Um, B leg, we did that. Uh, RSPI, um, all you can do with RSPI really is, uh, hope it gets better. <laughs> um, a little move there. You can trade it on the 30 if you'd like, uh, if you'd like to see continuation, but they're pretty ruthless with the selling. I'm not sure I'm expecting too much there. Ball and cans looking like a doll a dying heartbeat. Um, and the dumping is extraordinary, uh, given the rate at which this man is selling, which is, uh, quite high, it's a high rate. Um, I, I could potentially see this going to no bid at the rate this guy sells. And you could see it here. Like every time you think you're getting away with something on ball and can, you're actually just, um, experiencing minor palpitations while it drowns in a puddle of piss. Now, if it were to become something better, it would kind of happen like this. It would break this line here and it would finally move and stay above it. If he were to actually let it go, it would break through this. But then you look at the bigger picture and this guy isn't letting shit go. It had its bounce. And so now bottomed out here, if you wanted to sit here and pray, that'd be fine, but it could go a lot lower. And alternatively, um, if it, if it actually floated through this on lowish volume and started getting some steam, maybe. But right now, uh, your outlook doesn't look very good. And if you're deep red here, I, I, I wouldn't know what to tell you. 
because it's all about uh, it's all about prevention with me. You heard this one about the doctor. Guy goes to the doctor. He says, "Doctor, I I have a terminal." I one time I said a bad a, a disease, and then someone had it, so I'm not saying the disease anymore. I said I got a terminal illness, you know, and I've got this illness. It's so bad, and I'm just in I'm in incredible pain. And uh, the doctor says, "Oh well," and he says, "Doctor, should I kill myself because I can't take this pain anymore, or do you think there'd be a cure?" And the doctor says, uh, you should kill yourself. And then a month later, they come out with a cure for it. And then in an alternate reality, and then so he gets hit with lightning, obviously, by that dead person from heaven. Then in an alternate reality, the doctor says, you know what, hang in there, cure's coming any day. And, 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 and the man lives in agony for years and years and years, just in searing pain. And finally dies of natural causes after years of hell on earth. And then when he gets to heaven, he hits the doctor with a, with a bolt of lightning. So, so what I'm all about is prevention. And if you're deep red on this, I don't, I don't know what the course of treatment is for you. But the prognosis is not looking good. And if you're mad, like if you're, if you're, if you're looking at this and you're mad, you're like, well, how dare they pump this on me? That's how this market works. There's big gains. And ultimately they almost all go to zero. And if you're playing the game, understanding that that's the game, then, and that's all small caps and everything. How many apples? come out of that. You know, that's, that's the game. If you want to play with low price security. So I, it's a long answer, but I think it's an answer that I, 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 I feel a lot of people should hear. You can see it. <laughs> CEI. You can see it. Like if you, if you were part of this in November, it made this big move and it made that big dip, you know what I mean? And you, and you hung in for it and you're like, oh boy, you know, this is getting stressful. Like if I was trading this intraday, which I would have been because that AS is so terrifying on it, the authorized shares, you know, I would have been like, okay, moving nice. Move, like, look at here, intraday, you're trading this runner two days, right? I bought it low. Great. There's your break. Tested it, rebroke once. Perfect. Got it. That's my new stop loss. Boom, boom, boom. Tested a level. Um, hang out there for a little bit. Rebroke it. Boom. That's my new stop loss. There it is. Barely went under. Probably not going to dump it on that because the volume weighted average price is holding up. Okay. Now it's now it's a skyrocket. I dipped a little bit and it broke through. Boom. There's my new stop loss. Now what happens is it broke the back of it. It's lost one two levels, two levels lost. Now it's losing the, the anchored or the weekly volume weighted average price. Now at this point I'm going, okay, bye-bye. See you later. At that point, if you're worried about it, it'll continue. Well, by golly, I got new, good news for you. That's when you'd switch it to a 30 minute chart. You'd flip it to a 30. You're using that oscillator now. And you, every time it crosses the 30, you know that it's testing a resistance that it struggled with. At that point, I'd take it and I'd say, okay, it's testing this level. I'm going to take it here. I'm going to, I'm going to use this zone as a stop. If it stays above it and I can make another great trade. Great. Maybe it'll go to the moon. If it falls below, see you later. Boom. Tons of company selling brought it below and then lower and lower and lower and lower. If you hung in for all that. Uh, unfortunately, the doctor doesn't have an answer that could satisfy you. Thank you for subscribing. Who was that? Who subscribed?
So that's that. PAOG said they got the Salud Esmeralda. Esmeralda. That's what they're saying. So let's just double check the SOS for have they made a change recently? So where are they domiciled? Okay. Wyoming SOS. I'll just use filing RE. It's a cheat code for now, but it, you know, it won't be around forever. This, this Chrome. They're there in Nevada. So now they're saying in Wyoming. You know what I mean? So at this point, you got to go Wyoming SOS, right? There it is there. Business entity search. There it is there. How group. Type it in there. Delinquent, but not, it's inactive. Inactive. So where, where are they? Is it Salud Esmeralda now? That's entirely possible. How could we get that information? There's not a lot of information there. So let's double check. Uh, let's get the correct spelling on Salud Esmeralda. Salud Esmeralda is what they're calling it. Is that what they're calling it? Here it is here. They're showing Nevada. And this new entity was formed in November in Nevada. So what I'd like to do is, yeah, okay. That's not it. So what I'd like to do now is, is see that entity in Nevada. So let's go, uh, Nevada SOS, go to uh, businesses. Business entity search. I pull it away because I don't know what these search bars show. You know what I mean? I've searched for a lot of things in my life and, uh, you know, and then, and then, and then like a thing I searched for 10 years ago pops up on these, these things. Esmeralda. Oh, that, that's why. Sorry. And then sometimes it'll show like a credit card number. You start typing. Salute Esmeralda, uh, November. So, uh, not necessarily a lot here to point to, um, it for sure being a done deal necessarily, unless, unless someone's got the inside track on what's happening. Um, Officers here are showing the old officers. Nothing from the company at all that I can really see. So I guess, I mean, if they did close the deal, I guess we'll find out. Um, but, it, and maybe in their next filing, which could be coming soon. Uh, they'll say something about it. But uh, so far, not not much. Um, interested in, 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 in to see what happens with it, but but right now, I guess that'll be more of a wait and see for me. Um, but uh, not a bad looking business there at all by any means. Sandy Wire is uh, it's okay. It's an okay trip. I think this. What do they got? Trees? No, this is the music one. Music, the music guys. It's a good trip, but. I mean, they, at this point with how boring they are, could it bounce? Sure. Uh, but they'd have to say something really exciting and, and I'm not really that keen on just buying this and sitting in it. So I'm going to pass on that app J people say, well, this looks good. But then this guy says on news coming just like on black clouds, it's gotta be the same guy, right? news coming and then the news comes and it, he just dumps on it over and over and over again. I mean, he must've added a ton of shares to this. Um, I was looking for a key break there. Never happened. 
now you're asking the question if he could break trip four. And uh, if it did break trip four, I mean, even a tiny catalyst at this point would, would probably be an okay move. But I, but if, if this guy is watching this, um, just like, just do something, do something and then just say it after or something or some, do something at all. You know what I mean? Because because people really aren't falling for the old tweet mo uh, news Monday routine. You know what I mean? So that's that's that. Olvi, uh, they just sent this to the moon and just unloaded on it. Totally an insider trade. Um, Thirty cross. The idea was to pick it up into the cross and see where it would go. Uh, they took it to eight out of nowhere. Still some selling there. Uh, an idea could be to just challenge it to stay above 250 and see if they remoon it. And they did that on Arth to me. They did the old remoon. They mooned it. And I was like, well, that's as far as they could go. No way. No way these crazy SOBs could do it again. And, and by golly, they did it again. The OV above 250 is a thought. It, it would just be, but 250 would be the stop or else you could end up like our friend Joel McHale. You heard of this guy? Like, this didn't come down on much. Like how much, you could see it on the top left. How much this come down on? 92, 100 and what? 300,000, something like that. 350,000 it comes down on plus a little plus a little back end bumperini for 90 thousand is that 90,000 yeah i was like oh they'll bounce this any day no question and it just kept going lower and lower and lower and some of these completed pump and dumps uh very tough to get ahead i still wonder if they'll bounce this and it will it would tear your face off if they ever did but on Olvi, that's the fear. And that's why you have to be so committed to that stop, you know, because like whatever, whatever entity or boiler room is working this, uh, when it's over, it is over, bro. Beggy put out this dreadful 8k the other day. Um, uh, thank you for subscribing. What's La Flair. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Heard of this site, OTC method, the top site. So these guys got sued um, by a note holder because they didn't have the shares necessary to satisfy the note holder. And then the note holder, um, they paid the note holder and the note holder still wouldn't accept it and still wants shares, still sued for the share. Um, the injunction ordered the company to honor the conversion requests for the conversion of 62 million and three subsequent requests to GS Capital. Is, ain't that a son of a bitch? Hey, uh, you owe us money. We want to dump these shares. Well, here's the money. Still want to dump those shares. You know, like, what, what, what type of a pig are you? Anyways. So they've appealed the motions. Um, and that's why, I guess why this ran in the first place is they were out of shares, not blockchain. So they're fighting it. Um, and such an extended stay would prevent conversions while the Nevada Supreme Court hears the company's appeal. So... Like as, as bad as this looks and it is, is there a, a, a long period of time happening here where Beggy is no longer diluting at all, where it's all on hold and this could begin to rip your face off. It's bit, it's a bit of dangerous business and it's something that I think you probably have to start using the, uh, pacer monitor to, to, uh. To cover off.
It was just updated a couple days ago. Yeah, I used to have a paid plan on Pacer, and then all these bankruptcy plays ended up being bagged. It was updated a couple days ago. Um, so you'd have to keep an eye, and there's the case there. Uh, the case number is... C61999. You heard this song? Hmm. Yeah. There's the case number. I mean, if they tied this up in the courts for a long time, could they like run this shit? Now I'm starting to wonder. I hated it. This guy said on Twitter today, he said, oh, what do you think? And I was like, ah, that's kind of a scary 8K, but now you wonder, don't you? The thought. Bone Thugs in Harmony is the song. I'm old. I'm an old person on a, on a hip, youthful stream. Kind of warming up to this, hey? Then, oh, it's up 50%. It's not up shit. I'd like to know if it breaks 25, certainly. I would, I'd be interested to know about that. I'd just like to know about it. If it breaks 25 and there's some big bid support there, maybe it's game on. You ever thought about that? Well, I, I, I didn't, but now I am. Rosenbaum, this thing got a caveat emptor, I think, and then it, it's, a, it's always like a weird promo. Rosenbaum was one of my best trades, by the way. I, where, where, where are they all sitting, though? Because, like, here, they're all sitting here. Yeah. And then it would be tough in here. But I mean, if, it, if it's all sitting in retail accounts and, you know, I. How much th these guys wanted? How much? It looks like they would have enough to satisfy it. So it's so strange to me. Unless this, unless. This entire thing is a song and dance for the note holder to dump. Like if you if you put these people above that, think again, bro. I've seen some crazy songs. In, remember crumping? Crumping and clowning? You remember this? I've seen crazier songs and dances from note holders than crumping and clowning. That, that crumping and clowning, these guys are just dancing R. <laughs> and R is a word that you used to be able to say, but I don't say it anymore. You know what I mean? Interesting thought. Can of growth. So these guys had a reverse merger not long ago with a company that does a lot of things. They got the Extreme Fighting Championship back catalog. So I guess they have a whole host of videos where where it's just got like they've got guys just on the ground like rest like holding, like hugging each other really hard. They've got a lot of that, which is cool. But it is a reverse merger. It became a completely new thing. Um, not that long ago. You can just watch guys, you know, like like humping, I guess. For like a long time. A lot of videos of that. Humping, they used to call it.
this is really slow and very tough, but I, 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 I never felt that it got the move that it should have. So I'm going to put a daily cross, daily candles cross on that. Are they still saying hump? Probably uh, on the main page, there's, there's a lot of people that are um, of Twitch. There's a lot of people that uh, want to want to talk about humping, I guess. Uh, there's a lot of, well, there's certainly a lot of pillow humping. I saw this one stream, like I didn't, I didn't watch it, obviously. Uh, you know what I mean? I don't do that, but I go to the main page. It's just an ass. Which I don't like. I don't need to see things like that because obviously, you know, my wife and I we have our, we have children already. So like, I don't know why I would ever see any like look at anything like that. Like that's crazy to me. BLQC, nice bounce after a, a really decent move, and uh, here's how I'm gonna do it. If this were to continue. It'd have to break through that. And, and obviously that's quite a premium to this. So, so do I really want to break it 50, slap it 50% above? No, if I wanted to find out, probably take this support right here. You see it? Probably take that. And I'd say, okay, you know what? I, I'm going to buy 10 because I think it's definitely going to continue. If you think that I, I don't have an opinion on it, but, uh, uh, it's stay above eight and then I'll see if it could continue to go a long way, you know? That's probably the way I'd have to go about it to manage risk and then also not be stuck in something that just goes down forever because like this isn't, this isn't a rip on BLQC. It's just, it's just a reality of trading low price securities. They, they, they make good moves, but overall that, you know, they go down forever. So you, you gotta be so tight with it. You gotta be so tight with it. Let's uh, let's do. How are we doing for time? We're doing okay. We'll we'll shoot through the decline. Anything on your mind? Come on, get at me, man. What's on your mind, bro? And then I'll switch to decline, and we'll do this screener list. Yes, SSOF. Thank you. Uh. So I liked this. I thought that this this would have satisfied their needs to trade a, a low price trip type thing. Like I was really ready for for action here. And uh nothing that they say interests people at all. They don't care about trader jacks. They don't care about anything foodie tv and i hate how it's a mess you know what i mean it's a it's like it's like a it's like a messy desk of ideas that that just or or a wall that they've been throwing shit up against where and then on the ground none of it's stuck you know what i'm saying like no one cares about what they're saying and and the setup is good it doesn't really go down, but I, I don't know what it's going to take to get people to go. Yes. You know what? Yes. Because, because nothing like I can't, I can't say to someone, you know what? Like that, uh, IGPK, the Junva hang, you know what I mean? Or, or even HLK could be a good merger or, 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 or BLQC. I mean, we know what the guy's doing and, and he's doing things to protect retail with shares and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can't really say anything that SSOF is doing that excites me at all. Foodie TV, Trader Jack's platform, everything like that. It's pretty bad. But the setup is good. And it doesn't really get dumped.
And if it, if it were to build some real bid support around 910, maybe it doesn't matter what they're saying, or maybe that's the sign that they're about to improve what they're saying. Because the setup is so there. But the, the execution on their part has been dreadful. So, like, I don't know how any of it contributes to shareholder value in any real way at all. So, you know, when, when you get through this, I mean, there's not even a ton of resistance down low. Like, they could do it, but... um. That's the technical sign of maybe they're being ready to do it. And that's the big picture on it anyways. And that's, you wanted the thoughts, there they are. I mean, it's not out of the game, but they, they've got to uh, speak. Because it's like, uh, you know what I'm really into? Baseball. Yeah, what do you like about baseball? I like hockey. I'm into hockey. What do you like about hockey? Football. Yeah, I mean, it would, but yeah, no problem. You know, that's a funny one. You know, an XMR, no matter what they do or say, it's always dumping. Even when they maxed it, like when they maxed, they, they cut the AS. It's like they, they're the original. Well, thanks for, for coming along because we're talking Turkey. You know what I mean? And I got, I got strategies that go far beyond the OTC. Let's talk Turkey. Oh God, that's awful. Um, How many can I put you down for? But these guys, like, I, no matter what they said, it was always bullshit. And no matter what they did with the share structure, it always went down. Like I, 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 I it traded like this was 2.2 trillion. Oh boy. They, they could be gone. They could be gone soon. I mean, if they got current and you could pick it up down here, sure. Like if you saw a filing hit and you just took it down here, you might just get a nice rip. But man, I remember trading it and be like, this can't be real. Like it was the worst. And then obviously seeing that, you know, finding out it was Minamar running it. Um, you don't know how street and you'll never know. All you do. The question was, when a stock moves up, how much is it due to retail buying, institutional buying, or insider's wash trading? You'll never know the answer. All you know is that you got a buy button, a sell button, and a chart that's going to allow you to, to set risk levels. Hey, I bought 61. I'm a little late. Well, if it goes below dub five, I got to go no matter what. No questions asked, no looking back. Because I'm taking care of me. And a lot of my concerns early on when I started trading were everything but me. It was all about the MMs and, you know, and do you know Dave the note holder and, you know, and, and everything like that. And I was so worried about other shit. Meanwhile, I wasn't executing a trade. So my answer to that is you'll never know. And even if you could know, I don't give a shit. Because if it's going up, it's going up. I need that cheddar cheese. What was that on? 
Old? Yeah. I am. That cheddar cheese, baby. <laughs> He's really humble, you know? <sighs> Help. I don't I don't even think that was funny. <laughs> Why am I laughing at it? I'm losing my marbles here, guys. Looking at all these big giant movers on the OTC, right? Bag. Zevi, the business is cooked. Cat X reverse split. Sayonara. And and good riddance. Fuck. I'm sorry for anyone that was in it. I'm sorry. I hate it when that happens, but th but this thing has been dicking people around for so long. Maybe we could move on to things that that are actually doing things. You know what I mean? Because 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 it's been a real drain. Bust, I don't care about sits. I don't really care for at all. The FGX is a bag, certainly bag. We're on the decliners list now. We're doing some cringy stuff here today. You remember the White King? Man. And then I'll go fast, I promise. Listen to this. During COVID, everyone was a trading expert. Um, but one of the ways that you could become a trading expert quickly and, and get some like street cred in, in uh, the penny stock trading world was to be part of the OTC method chat and then repeat everything that I said in another chat and then sound like an authority on things. And that would happen a lot. Um, but, but the best one, was a guy did it with a Game of Thrones theme. And so his name was the White King. And he would write everything that I wrote verbatim. Verbatim. But, but with, a, with a Game of Thrones theme. And he was the administrator of a chat to boot. So I had to give him points, at least for, like, having a theme. That was pretty cool, but... Yikes. Boy, we ran into some weirdos during COVID, huh? What is this? Get in touch with trusted IT companies from Ukraine. Yeah, I just I just don't know anything about that. The White King they called him. That was the weirdest thing I think I've come across. Back to these decliners. Ebet, I don't care. Actually, you know what? This Ebet is liquid at least. It got absolutely shat upon today, but it is liquid and they like to run these delisters and boy, that was rude today. There's your level though, 20 20 425 was kind of the place where I wondered if they'd get a bounce. You could challenge it to stay just above 22 there and see if you get another rip out of it. Certainly a thought. Boring thought, but it is a thought. Trust feed, this is really, I'm still in this. I This is a change of control. Um, I don't have a lot. I, I don't take a lot when it's a higher, because people don't have the taste for this right now. But this is a change of control. Probably will announce a merger at some point. I, I love the setup. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, getting people to buy something that's not a, 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 a giant trip fatty or whatever right now, it's just, it's just a very, uh, tough order to fill. You know what I mean? So I love it. This is one of those things that eventually like, you'll be like, ah, this is too slow and it'll just tear your face off one day. I mean, the setup is sick, but MGTI, I don't care about that really. 
I never did, and then it made that weird move, but I, I still don't care. Blumios is just a great stunner, a stunner. Always selling, it seems. Um, it would be smart of them if they could find it in themselves to just... Because, I mean, there, there's, like, this thing is crazy nice. And all the bags are down here. Like, I mean, it, 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 like, just do anything. Blumios could fart into a news release and just open it in people's faces and it'd be a good move. But for some reason, they just, they just don't seem to want to do anything. It's a damn shame. But I'm always keeping an eye on that. Eyeless, uh, good luck. You know, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. People get mad when I say I don't like it. I don't know. Just like on song, I don't know why we're paying them again. There's so many companies out there that 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 are are ready for you to to have a great move and are building value and stuff. Why do we keep coming back? And they come back with, I'm sorry, baby. I didn't, I didn't mean to hit you. I mean to hit you that, that time. You know, I was just, you know how it is with work, you know, and sometimes I get a little angry. Okay. Me, I'm a strong, independent woman. You hit me, you give me a shiner. I'm out the door, buddy. Our lab, what a move this has been, man. Barely dipped on anything either. Could they just keep going here? I mean, they, like, I don't know what to do with this. There's just, uh, there's nothing I can do. I could maybe, if it dipped down to 26, pick it up, see if it bounces off that support. Oh, yes. The problem with RJDG historically has been that it's uh, very boring. Um, the things they say are, are for the most part, pretty dull. And then I can see here that they, they've got some shares probably lined up, uh, to sell in, in the next little while you see, it's not hit the, uh, the hell that DTC is what we're going to have to use as a float number. Cause this floats outdated. So, you know, it looks like they've got about 45 million to sell over the next, uh, over the short term, uh, which is fine. And then, and then you get into, uh, like what they do, you know, like, uh, they do a bunch of stuff that doesn't really excite people that much ever, even at the, even at the best of times, they couldn't really get much out of it. Um, even during COVID, I see there's a, there's, there's certainly a volume build up here over the, over the course of the month. Uh, but for me, I would be hard pressed to sit in this, uh, given the fact that the price action is, is very poor and historically, you know, I mean, it makes the odd move. This was like a group thing. I believe it makes the odd move here and there, but goes right back to zero. Um, so I suppose if you wanted to do it, I mean, you could, you could pick it up with a six dub six as a stop and, and hope something they say is more exciting that's pretty much what I'd, what I do about it. Because if I don't, if I don't adhere to that stop, then, then I could spend another year in purgatory because the things they talk about are dull and, uh, the, the business is, is, I understand it to be an okay business. Like, let's take a look here. It's okay. Let's see how they're doing year over year. The last quarterly report. And I, I don't know how it would be locked up really, but you could see here because you've got a lot of AS left. So their asset base is decent. Uh, liabilities uh, are higher. So um, not ideal. Uh, revenue, very good. Very good revenue. But it was also good last year. And they, they still turned a profit, which is excellent. But it's not a... 
ton of money difference. Net income's pretty good. Uh, cash and cash equivalents very good. Um, so so not not a bad business by any means, but it never was a bad business. You know, and 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 there was still no volume. So from the perspective of strategy, it would be, you know, please stay above dub six. Otherwise, uh, I mean, you could, you could just be cool in your he heels here forever. And that, and, the, and that's the issue. And the, and you could get a good rip out of it, but continuation here has always been tough. This one, you wonder if it's one of those ones that, that finally people like, there's been a few over the years where finally people are like, you know, this is a good business. And they finally just let go and they just, and it just keeps going and going and going and going after many false starts. And we've seen a few of those over the years for sure. Um, but your, your job number one is stay above dub six. If you want to find out job number two would be to take an eight break. If you think it's getting serious and then use that as a stop, that's pretty much all you can do because, um, being a good business has not been enough for it. Uh, to date. You know what I'm saying? It really has not been enough. And I, I found myself tricked there a few times over the years where I'm like, well, you know, you see this balance sheet? They see it. They absolutely see it. Not that I hate it. I just, I'm just, I'm just, I, I'm trying to get ahead soon. And, and that's, and that's the, you know, with a lot of these things, uh, yeah, it does. There could be, um, you can look and, and see if there's convertible debt in the balance sheet. I've already closed it. Or you could ask it to stay above dub six and get your answer there. And if it breaks dub eight, ask it to stay above dub eight and get your answer there. And then each level it creates, make that your stop and get your answer there. And then even if between, because that's the problem, between quarterly reports, they could add new convertible note holders. And so you, you think that you've made a decision based on that quarterly report. Well, they don't have any convertible note holders. Little did you know, in the three months between quarterly reports, they've added 68. And that's why your job needs to be using those stops and levels. Let's go through the screener. I've got uh, 25 left to go, 25 minutes. And then I guess I could become a Twitch affiliate, uh, but I have to do a couple of additional streams before the end of the month. So next week I may do an hour here and there uh, just uh, during the week to get over the line for that. And then, and then I can start having my own custom emojis. My emojis are awful, by the way, in my server there. Well, they're fantastic, but they're, they're sarcastic or, or whatever. I don't know. What are the emojis used for? Mainly busting balls. So if you're interested in that, for sure. Uh, let's get into this screener. Let's go pink and QB. I only want common stock. I don't want an F stock and I don't want ADRs. I'm going to go all countries because I'm an international guy. I don't know if you know that about me. I'm international. How am I international? Don't worry about it. Okay. I get around. I had actually, <laughs> I had plans, you know, to take some time off and do some travel. And I, I felt like I'd really made it, you know, and, uh, the last couple of years have been a real wake up call. I'll tell you that real wake up call for, I think all of us retail traders, all countries, all industries, because these things change industries. Like they change socks. We're going dub, uh, point zero point zero. I told you this story 2.006. 
that's the new level. I sort it by volume to begin with. And the reason I do that is because it allows me to avoid things that have either like monster spreads or no ask or whatever, and then go through things uh, that are good setups. Now, when I do this list, I'm not going to spend a ton of time on things that we already know. For instance, stall. Everyone's aware of stall. We've got the tools to deal with stall. I'm not going to spend a ton of time on stall. Um, I'm going to call things bags for a while and then I'll stop because it gets very tired. I get tired from calling things bags. I do it so much. You know Bag. what I mean? I'm in shape. I'm in, f I'm fit as a fiddle when it comes to calling things bags though. So not too tired. Uh, but I'd like to go for the things that are, that are less known, that are great setups that maybe just maybe if they got a merger or a great catalyst could do a ripperoni. You know what I mean? That's what I'm trying to do. Let's go for it. Talked about it. Uh, both bags here. Um, oh, let me get my button warmed up. Let me see. Uh, uh, uh. Bag. 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 Good. Here we go. Bag. Seagra Pass. PPCB. These guys are the worst at pumping ever. They did a promo. And it didn't go very well. And, and now, I, I mean, the selling is nonstop. I could see it in trips again at this point. <laughs> They're not really that good at running. MGTI pass. SMPW has a massive split on the books. I don't know why they bounced it the other day. And I also don't know why that company's tweeting like, let's go and stuff. Let's go cancel your split or shut the fuck up. There's an idea for you. H up is a pass. Business warrior, good setup. The business is no good, but the setup is good. We'll take a quick peek at that. UMAV is a, is a very good setup as well. We'll take a peek at that. Uh, fun. This thing's just been getting dumped nonstop. I don't know what's going on here. If you don't know it, it's uh, called the Shoots and Ladders Coffee Bar, Latte Bar, Shoots and Lattes, where you drink coffee and then you play board games. So uh, for the most part, the bag. business is certainly a bag and not a great setup. I'm going to pass on that. RLBD, I can't believe it's down here again. That's like a promo ticker they light up sometimes, so that could be okay. Suggestion box. This guy said he had a merger a while ago and just ghosted us, so not that. Blumio's talked about it. IBGR way down. Pretty baked at this point. I wouldn't expect much. ACRL is always a pass for Bag. me. Uh, MGON is just a dull business. They, they announced that merger. It wasn't very good. CBNT, uh, it's an interesting company for sure, Ballistic Shields, um, but you know, it's just this, it never really gets out of its own way. It's a decent business though. And an RI, I'll pass on that. Univec, I'll certainly pass. I dick you dicked me the other day. Still a great bankruptcy setup, but I mean, the selling is just extraordinary. Uh, Bic B was getting some volume a while ago. Last I heard they had this split on the books though. Uh, so I'll pass on that. Torque Lab. Uh, is this the one that reduced the AS or, or something? No, the different one. What was that one? Gosh, SGDH is a phenomenal shell. One of the best in the game. And if they were to announce a reverse merger hit here, you could get your face ripped up. Gotta be watching. Gotta be watching for news in 8Ks. Uh, this, I think this is a caveat emptor, is it not? Not a good setup at all. I, uh, they'd have to say something really exciting for me to take that. CBD pillows. Fuck me. BTZ eyes a pass. Ton of gold's not a bad setup, but very boring. Barely ever gets any action. Black clouds. This is the app. J guy. He's a news coming tomorrow, and he's not doing anything. And then every time you try and get active with it, he just unloads on it. I'm going to pass on that. RLTR, you got to watch. At some point, they may get active. Um, they were a very good pumping machine between that and then BCCI, um, a decent pumping machine. I would be interested if they had a merger or something here. I think at some point they will, uh, but, but right now there's not a lot to do, but that could be a very good mover in time, certainly one to keep an eye on. NHYF has been a, another custodianship wreck, I believe. 
And, uh, you know, it, it, this thing does not get any price action at all other than down. And it's always the, the same story, it seems, with these former custodianship tickers. That there's, there's always the holders hiding in the woodwork because they didn't clean it up properly. And I'm going to pass on that. PSWW, I'll also pass on that. Rocky Mountain High Brands is post-split. Um, now it's uh, not, it's, it's okay. They let out promos sometimes on this that are pretty wild. Um, when did they do that split? Boy, they've been selling a lot since then. Huh? I can't believe it was that long ago. God bless. One of these days they might light that thing up. Um, but I, I don't think it's anything urgent. EVSB will pass. JNSH at the best of times, at the best of times, at the peak of the COVID trade, they could barely move this. Barely. They got the charging stations, but only in Chicago and not Tesla compatible, I believe is the deal. This thing almost never moves. Um, I, I wouldn't imagine wanting to be in it at all. Um, it's really bottomed out here. If you wanted to be one of those freaks and you had a bunch of capital laying around and wanted to see, it's been, it's been sitting at this price for almost a year now. I mean, maybe you could put a bottom in on it and say, Hey, stay above 29 and I'm here to see if they do a merge or something. You could, if you wanted to play it that way, you could, uh, but very boring. Uh, did I get, I'm sure I got dumped on here at some point. I, I, the ticker's already given me the willies. Medical mime, you ever heard of it? I haven't. Shit. Why, well, it looks like a bed of nails, huh? They'd have to say something a lot more exciting than medical mime for me to be interested in that. I'm going to pass on this. I'm also going to pass it down 40% on 11,000 shares, huh? Sheesh. Take a look at it. Jet Black remains one of the best setups around. This guy is not very good at keeping a coherent message. Um, one of these days, he doesn't dilute. He doesn't do anything, but it, the stuff he says and does, they, they, they don't really seem to materialize. So maybe if, if he can get it together, it would be okay. I haven't seen that in a long time. RJDG we talked about. Is this pink current again? Defecate is what I used to call it. Uh, this might be going gray soon, guys. We haven't heard anything defecate. We haven't heard anything from defecate for a long That's how I remember them. Novagant, uh, I'm going to pass on that. Greystone, no matter what you do, you get shit on by Greystone somehow. I don't know how they do it. It's almost, it's almost like a special talent or like they're like uh, bon vivant. DYLC, we'll take a look at that. I haven't, I don't like this. I don't care about that. Uh, I don't care for this. I don't care for this custo. Also don't care for anything related to Frank is a pass from me. That that would, GEGR, uh, they say it's a really good business, but it's all overseas and all impossible to nail down. Uh, certainly a lower float type of a setup. Uh, not bad down here, but uh, really, really tough trade. And so probably the guy got charged for doing a fake Frank. Yeah. Frank, what's up, man? Where are you at, bro? Never mind. I thank goodness. He's not here today. This guy, the guy got charged for doing like a fake ass merger or something. Uh, still not a bad setup though. If they did, uh, finally change hands. I haven't seen that forever. Uh, Areola that never really seems to move. Airs could get a merger at some point. Uh, this is the weightlifter guy merger. Not great. African Discovery will take a look. Now, when we, and you can see what I'm talking about here. When we get into the zeros, you get into a situation where there's something wrong. You don't know what it is exactly, but there's something wrong. Either the spread's insane or the, the uh, share structure is insane. There's something usually wrong with these. Duo, a good setup. 
but boring. Edge mode, an excellent setup down here. Former Custo uh, could certainly bounce at some point. Zero volume for now. Um, I don't care about any of these. What is happening here? I thought they had a split coming up, INNX. I think they do. All right, we'll go through these. Spready already. Great setup. Anything new with them? Change in accounting firm. What's their business like? Get a new business. Get a new business into this shell and uh, could be a really good move, but that is a really tired business. And is it doing well, that subsidiary? Let's take a look. How's your revenue? Boy. Wow. I mean, at least it's the first time you've had revenue. No change to the share structure, which is kind of cool, but pretty tough sell in the elevator shaft. Be tough to sustain volume there. Wow, e. They did a merger almost a year, reverse merger almost a year ago with Travel Mix, which is sure dull. So they're Travel Mix. We plan to enter the U.S. market early 2024, setting up an online travel agency, which will enable clients to pay for travel arrangements through micro loans, which is actually kind of an interesting business because everything people are doing a lot of these micro loans lately mine macro <laughs> heat zone that's kind of cool i mean i don't know how you get liquid on it fuck what happened <laughs> oh i see Okay. CYLC, I, I, I've never really enjoyed trading this much. No, and this is the thing where people are like, there's nothing to trade on the OTC, bro. There are setups for days. But these guys got to get to work. Or, or make me an offer on one of these. Give me a number and I'll take one. And then it'll be good. And I'm just going to turn off the tap permanently. And we're just going to trade heads up. Only forward splits. Make me an offer. Dull. Boy, oh boy. Look at these setups, guys. Nothing going on. All these setups just waiting to get merged into. Great setup. This is uh this is the ship rep recovery one. Make me an offer. Holy crap, Ola. They recover the shipwrecks. They swim down and see if there's any magic coins amongst the skeletons. Good golly. That is low. I mean, if you're if you're a real bottom hunter, you know. Oh, <laughs> I thought it got the caveat emptor. Yeah. Well, I knew he got he got binged. Ugh. What did this used to be? Yeah, NECA. African social media network. How did it go? 
apparently not very well. Because, like, just because you're in Africa, you can't log on to Twitter? What is this? Or no one logs on to Twitter, really. I mean, wherever you, you know, another place. See, this is, this is where it gets weird. When they show zero volume, that's usually why. God, this is getting real stale. I mean, you wonder if they've just ghosted this thing. Uh, business warriors, uh, SEC delinquent now could go gray at some point. When was the last time? Yeah, they could get another K out, but this thing is um, not even thin anymore. I, I don't know what you do with this at this point. If the same guys are running it, nothing is ever going to happen. This is a good setup. Uh, it trades dirty. It's um, drones, drones, trades dirty, but. It is, I think it's post, is it post split with zero action ever since? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, that's 2014, so maybe not. I thought, I could have swore they had another one. Why'd they buy so much the other day? Is it just dumping or are they finally getting the boys loaded up for, for a rip around the, rip around the rosy? Double bottom on the daily. Uh, challenge it to stay above uh, 35. Maybe they could finally move this. It's always been one that I thought they would rip at some point, and it never really, never really did. Like, it had the odd little move here, but it lasted for like 10 minutes. Something to keep an eye on. I don't know if you dive all over it, but yeah, this may be too far gone, guys. I mean, they, they, this was like a big time promo, you know what I mean? And so I don't know about that. Nothing since August. It's always frightening when that happens. Like things can flip to yield quickly. It happens all the time. But like when, when they haven't filed for, you know, how many months, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, when they haven't filed for five months. You know, I don't know. Suggestion box. So this guy said he had a merger, disappeared. Boom, gone. Great setup. Uh, if he were to pop up again, 55% on the day, but on how many shares? 10? $550,000. Not a bad chunk. Was it on the bid or the ask? Let's check it out, shall we? Thank you for subscribing. Drewer. That's what I'm talking about. If you're not subscribed, what are you even doing? What do you do? What are you up to? It's free, for God's sake. What stock am I... What am I doing now? Oh, suggestion box. Got to look around this microphone. That was yesterday. Car Club has been a real mean SOB. Real mean. You got to do more. You got to do more. It's been a real Rickeringo. Well, I'm getting ready to wrap up. I got three minutes left. If something's on your mind, you better get after me. Because I'm going to go. And I'm going to be working at otcmethod.com all week. Where I give 100% for members every single day. I'm there all day in the chat, breaking down. I've memorized all of this. Some people have said to me, why could you have memorized something more useful? And I say to them, what use are you? Because I believe that this is the best place that retail could ever be. 
We just got to get him to come back. And the cost of living is out of control. Don't tell me things are good. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I'll, you know what? I'll say when things are good. How about that? Let's, let's just, that's the new rule. I say when things are good. I, I'll determine. Is that fair? I think, I think it's, I think it is. I think it's the right angle. I, th I, I hope it will. OTC King. I, I, part of me still feels that there's, there's some type of a big reset coming and not the big reset because, uh, you know, I went to, I went to see the, the lizard people, uh, after my first shot of MRNA and, I wasn't really bought into their, to their, to their vision. Like I thought they'd kind of let me in the club after I received that. And instead I just got these like really itchy rashes, mostly on my ass, which was very unfortunate and not really, uh, not really what I was hoping to happen when I, when I, uh, took that, but, and that, that is real by the way. Um, but, uh, I just feel like, uh, you know, something's got to give and like, and the way that economics works, I mean, like there, there has to be a period where, where, where demand gets destroyed. Like you can't just, you can't keep on this track and you look at that credit card debt and you look at all these different things and you have like, what is the moment where people just say, you know what, I can't do it anymore. And then prices really start coming down. I don't know when that moment is. Uh, but, and I don't know how long it'll be until that moment comes, but, um, people have been getting stretched real thin for a long time and, uh, it'll be very interesting. Yeah, it would have, you know, and, and unfortunately, um, you know, keeping, uh, keeping the, uh, mega rich as rich as possible, uh, took precedent to just letting it happen. And, you know, banks that, and, and I understand taking care of your depositors, but, um, those banks being able to, uh, to borrow unlimited amounts of cash for as long as they needed all of last year, uh, really, really didn't do a lot for the inflation picture. And I, I just don't know what it's going to take or what it'll be. And, and now at this point, I worry that whatever it's going to be is going to be catastrophic. You know, and, and I, and I, 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 that's not good for anyone. So, but if they start cutting rates really quickly, uh, I wouldn't be celebrating as much as I would be looking for the exit. You know what I mean? That That's for sure. Because obviously they see a macro issue coming down the pipe that, that you don't know about yet. That's my take anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Well, GE, hope you enjoyed uh, the time. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I'll be back next Friday. I might be back once or twice next week to get over the line to become a, an affiliate, whatever that means. Maybe I'll, maybe I could make 20 cents. Um, Yeah, I think you're right, AM. But uh, we'll go from there. So have a wonderful, uh, wonderful night, and we'll see you Friday. And if you are with me on OTC Method, Monday morning, back at it. I got my big, I write all the news, that all every piece of news that comes out, I write a big, giant, I cut it into paragraphs, obviously. I'm not a psychopath, but a big, giant rundown of everything that's going on so you're all filled in. You know what I mean? So, uh, GE, thank you.